Hello guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be putting my own spin on the Prospect Pyramid. Of course, Steve Dangle making that idea famous. Except this time, I'm going to be doing the Stars, my favorite team. Now, bear with me. I'm a bit sick today, but hopefully I get better. I mean, I, I have no idea. It's just allergies, so I don't know. But it's going to be the same general concept. Um, tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, and then Tier 4. There wasn't really a point in doing a Tier 5, just because I think... To, you just go to tier four like i don't think there's really a difference there um but let's just get started so first off mira heisken and probably the best prospect that they've had for quite a while um elite defensive awareness like he like if he he is such a good two-way defenseman um he's not going to be a complete defensive guy i don't think he has some bucks moving skills he just has to, has to work on the shot and awareness uh, for offense, for defense, I think he's a complete guy. I mean, he has great physical, um, great defensive awareness. I think he's going to be almost the opposite of John Klingberg um, as a defenseman, but not quite. He'll still get points, but it's he's going to be so defensively sound, it's not even funny. I think he'll be a top five defensive guy. Next up, Gurionov. Um, I think that I've read that he's a great skater. He has a fantastic shot. And that's really just a Russian left winger, like he is. I mean, he's going to be a top uh, top six guy. I can almost make sure of that. The worst I can see him going is like a is like a scoring scoring third liner. But I think he's going to be a top six guy, maybe a first line for the future. And there's really the sky is a limit for Gurionov. I really love his playmaking ability, his shot, his awareness. And, he, of course, he needs to work on his defense, but a lot of Russian skaters need to work on their defense. And I think that there's just so much upside for him. He's still very, very young. Um, tier 2 now. Um, Ottinger, probably... I, he's so much better than Jack Campbell. Like, I don't see a universe where he turns into Jack Campbell. Uh, I just, he has such a good base, <clears throat> base kind of a good traits for goalie. If you really want to see in-depth anal analysis on him, for my perspective, perspective, I have a video on my prospect profile for him, you can go check that out, it's still on the channel, it's relatively new, so you'll be able to find it easily, um, but I think he will be a starter in the future, I don't think, like, it. Uh, he'll probably replace... Um, Bishop in like three or four years. He's not. Cool. He's gonna take a little bit of time, but he'll be there. Um, Rope Pints. I think that he's going to be an excellent third liner, maybe even second liner for the Stars. Like he's going to be probably one of the be better third liners in the game if he ends up getting there. Um, he just has like loads of playmaking ability. Like it's crazy. Um, he's pretty decent defensively. Um, he hasn't just an all around game that I really like. Um, he has great puck skills. He basically has everything. And that's great for a third liner because usually you want your third liners to do everything. Score, defend, all that. Um, Riley Tufty, uh, he's going to take quite a while. It'll probably take like four or five years. But he's going to be elite when he gets there. Um, a good comparison for me is probably, again, probably like a lesser version of Jamie Benn, but still, I, he has the. He has the capability, the style of Jamie Ben. I really like his style. Um, he has, he's going to be a great power forward. Um, basically, just like Jamie Ben. He'll probably be a first liner, probably a second liner, though. Um, if I, I don't want to get my my hopes too much too much up, but, you know, I, I think he's going to be a fantastic player. Um, Julius Honka, he's probably the closest player to getting Tier 1, but I just had to put him Tier 2. I, I, I think that he's a little bit overhyped because, you know, every time you see... A pro or not a prospect profile, a top ten prospects like Ju Honka is usually number one. I don't. I think I think Honka is a bit bit overrated, but you know Honka will be a fantastic top four defenseman. He probably won't reach the level of top two. But he'll probably be one of the best top four defensemen in the game. I really love his all around ability. Again, another two way defenseman. He has great offensive upside as well. He, he's like when you were watching the games, that, the few games that he played last season. You can see him just skate up ice. He he looks to be another Klingberg, and that's great. <laughs> it's great. Uh, next up, probably um, you could switch between tier three and tier two. But Jason Dickinson, he looked decent on um, the games that he played last season. He is going to be a great sniper. I think he has great offensive ability. 
of course, not great defensively. But that offensive ability is just going to be up there. He's going to be great. Um, in Tier 3, um, now I'm going into Tier 3, um, um, Ole. He, Ole is so fast. Like, if, like, both Ole and e Ellie. Like, Ellie has elite speed. Ole has decent speed. But if you see Ellie skating, like, holy crap. He didn't play all that many games last season for the Stars. But when he did, holy crap, he was so fast. Like, he could get from one side of the ice to the other and like, I don't know. Maybe like five, I don't know, ten seconds, I don't know. I don't know what a good speed for that is. But he, he was just li lighting up the ice, man. And he was just phenomenal. Um, Hansen, he looks to be a decent defenseman. Might be a future top six shutdown guy. He has some offensive skill. But I think he'll, he'll probably be used in a defensive role. Um, if it comes to that, he probably is more of an offensive guy, but I think he needs to be a defensive guy for him to be put in the lineup. Um, of course, Deanne Mark, I have him on the first line for the Stars for this next upcoming season, but that's just because I believe in him way too much. Like, I think he is going to be a fantastic winger. He should be a third liner, but I, I still don't think they're going to put Radulov on the first line. I just don't think that. And I think that, you know, put somebody like Deanne Mark, maybe like Brett Ritchie on that first line. So, it, it's, I could see, he's going to play in the NHL, that's no, he's going to be put in the lineup, no doubt about it, um, he should be, I think he deserves it, um, of course, missing the whole last season because of injury really maybe shot his development, but we'll have to wait and see for that, um, then tier four, or let's get Pollock, but he looks to be a fantastic defensive guy, um, playmaking, of course, he looks to be just a pure playmaker, and... Uh, decent defensively. Um, tier 4, Martinez, Smith, Fr Fr or Stransky, Sony, um, Nyberg, Carlstrom, and Bo and Point. Uh, of course, Bo and Point look great goalie-wise, but I don't think they're going to be much in the AHL. Probably career AHLers. Um, but this Tier 4 is probably AHL for like careers, but I can still see one of these guys making a full NHL career out of it. And of course... Um, if the not prospects, if you're thinking, oh, why isn't Faxa on the list? Because he's not a prospect. He's not a prospect. Guys like Johns, Faxa, Lindell, Richie, and Shore all have enough playing time where I think they're not prospects. Um, I think they they play too much to not to be prospects. Like I don't know how you put any of these guys as prospects still. And even if you did, Faxa would probably be tier run it tier one in a way. In all opinion, I think Faxa is gonna be elite, but. That's just my opinion. Um, but uh, it's going to be it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you like. If you guys really did enjoy it, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.